Hey everyone. Normally we do this from the truck, but I forgot and I'm outside. I'm here at our favorite auction house. And uh, this auction's tricky. It's uh, got a lot of different stuff and stuff that we're not used to selling, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Alrighty, it's auction time. First thing I spot was this bike. And if we did local sales, this would be a great pickup, but because it is old, but we don't. So moving along. This is one of those things that I want to be worth money, but they are just not. These are old whiskey decanters with different states on them. And I think they're really cool, especially the Vegas one, but they're just not worth any money. So I'm moving along. Stuff that we just don't deal in. Uh, some old records there. Nothing too crazy. This was interesting. These were a pair of LeBrons. Um, I eventually will find out that they are size 12s after I thumb around. Sometimes working with one hand can be difficult, but um, yeah, they are um, size 12s, Nikes, LeBrons, and they're in decent shape. Sarah finds a bunch of t-shirts. There's some LeBron and Cleveland t-shirts in that box there too, so that would have been a decent box. Um, moving on to this box here, I find old Atari 5200 controllers, just like the ones we just sold, except without the bracket this time, so they're not worth as much without the bracket, but they are still worth some money. I'm going to thumb through some of these purses over here to the left just to make sure there's nothing crazy vintage in there that people missed. Um, but there isn't. <laughs> uh, and then there's all these Blu-rays and DVDs, and the titles are just not good. So I kind of passed on those, and lots of CDs too. Uh, some old sports equipment, some old comic books in the back here, along with bunches of Halloween stuff. And it's a little late for the Halloween stuff. Um, but you know, for the right money, it certainly would be worth putting down in the basement and waiting on it. Some creepy baby dolls here and some tools. Um, these marble figures were cool, but, um, kind of newer, so not worth too much money along with the Disney stuff. This is something I want to be worth money, but baseball cards just aren't. However, these are <laughs> these WCW uh, sealed boxes are certainly worth a decent amount, along with these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. They are worth a fair amount of money, especially if they're complete, which those actually are. And then there's some Beetle stuff, and then there's this little hidden gem underneath here, these Atari trackball controllers. We missed a set of those at the last auction. And then there's mountains upon mountains of Hot Wheel, Hot Wheel cards. Some uh, Fisher Price Ghostbuster toys. That whole set over there is worth a, like 60 bucks. And there's all these action figures. This old game. That's actually the original one from 1977. Um, some Legos. Some newer Turtles. Um, and then those uh, Army Men or Cowboys and Indians right there. Some X-Files toys. It's still in the box. Those... Uh, Zapper guns that you saw just briefly there. Those are not worth any money. I can tell you that right now. And then I stumble upon this album with some old photos. And look at that. Cabinet cards. Our new favorite thing. And then this little thing under here is like a scrapbook. Somebody's scrapbook, which is really cool. So we were players on this for sure because that's some cool stuff in there. Then to the right is a keyboard that is also worth quite a bit of money. And then this was kind of the highlight of the auction uh, up here on the wall, not these pans that I'm talking to Sarah about. Um, but these, there was tons and tons of like old figures and WCW, WWF stuff. There was some starting lineup stuff in there, a few Jordans. So, um, And then I spot this little record collection. Typically at auctions when they have the tiny little pile of records, they're normally like some records that have been separated out because they know they're going to fetch a better dollar and there was there's some Def Leppard some Black Sabbath in there so that was certainly worth the money uh, those little Lincoln logs over there although they look like they were going to be worth money they are not more wrestling stuff I had to take a look at these old cap guns here because they're pretty cool cap guns and they are worth some money that whole set there worth about 60 bucks 
And then here is some more old, like 80s and 90s um, wrestling figurines. This guy is talking to me about Hulk Hogan, but there's more there and more there. All right, we are back home. And uh, here it is. We did pretty good. There's a cat using the litter box over there. Sarah's coming with her. Why don't you just hold up your Indian? My Native American. She got a Native American statue. You like it? Yeah. So, I don't know why I've been on this. We don't know. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't have a clue. But I might actually hang it on the wall. Yeah, she might. Wall. We might use that one for right, ourselves. Look. Yeah, see that? I think I'm right. I think I might. So she's probably going to keep it. So don't worry about that. Don't uh, you worry. Yeah. So here's what we got. Um, we'll start with some of the big stuff. <laughs> we got a little Caesars uh, delivery vehicle sign. This one clips to the door and the window. <laughs> um, we didn't, we're going to resell it. And it's probably one of the weirdest things we've ever bought to resell. But we've seen things like this go for like $100, $150, like the Domino ones, uh, all different types of them. We didn't find any Little Caesars ones, probably because they don't deliver in very many places. So yeah, Little Caesars delivery thing for the window. Moving on, we got this blow mold that we overpaid for. <laughs> there was a little communication issue during the time and we paid too much for it. It's worth about $25 and we paid 20 bucks for it. So that's a loser. Um, here is where we're going to make up some money. Um, we got more of this stuff, more cabinet cards. That's like the blurriest photograph I've ever seen. But uh, yeah, there's in this album, there's a whole bunch of like old cabinet cards and like old pictures. See that? And it's full of it. Like, well, full of cabinet cards. So um, didn't pay much for this like 20 bucks i think this is really cool it's somebody's old scrapbook um and it's really cool there's like this old school photograph there but then there's stuff like this where it's like best years of my life and then there's like a little old hallmark card in there that's never been used there's old ticket stubs rain checks a war bomb premiere there's old pictures there's old notes, there's the cotton ball at the Knights of Columbus, more pictures, um, I'd like to make a date with you. <laughs> I mean, there's just really random stuff in here like that. Um, some of this stuff could be worth some money, like St. Valentine's Dance. Um, it's really cool and really, really like old uh, cutouts there's more dances um yeah it's pretty interesting look at that dance at the edgewood community club january 10th dollar 50 a couple 75 dollar stag or 75 cents stag uh, cavalry club dance like that yeah, it's really cool so we're gonna be moseying through that and check it out we got some records we have no idea who fat mattress is those of you that are really good with music might know fat mattress but we don't know them uh don't know these guys either but pretty cool 80s record uh know these guys there's some Def leopard for you black sabbath know these guys as well and the scorpions right there so good little set of records there um we're steering clear of large lots of records because we have a lot of one's just sitting around doing nothing um got some more ornaments we needed some more ornaments because we have run a little low um got this iron man figure this is a war machine from the 90s pretty cool new in the box um we got these we missed these last time around um and these almost look like the ones that we missed but i'm not sure i think they are and maybe the person that bought them didn't pay for them or something like that um i have no idea but they were back and then we got them and we stole them um these are worth about 100 bucks a piece and we paid 22 dollars for both of them so pretty awesome there got some x files figures new in the box this one here worth about 20 bucks this one here probably worth about the same um molder and scully right there series one so should be worth decent amounts of money sorry about these on a whim because they were really really cheap um we're not sure of the value on them yet they're just some old cb uh walkie talkies so kind of cool 
We got some uh, cowboys and Indians figures from Hong Kong. We sell these pretty well. People pay, you know, twenty or thirty dollars for the set, and we paid uh, five dollars for them. Sarah collects vintage. There's, there's Gus. Say hi, Gus. Sarah yeah. <laughs> collects uh, abacus as she likes them, so that she bought that for herself. Um, we got a keyboard, old vintage keyboard, worth about. Uh, 30 35 dollars uh, maybe a little more we haven't found any with the box so this might be worth a little more with the box i have to interrupt myself here for a second that keyboard not worth any money um <laughs> first of all the one that we bought doesn't work secondly even if it does work and it's in great shape with the box still only worth like 20 bucks so steer clear of this keyboard but um moving over here got the an old garbage can peanuts garbage can <laughs> from 1969, 1970. <laughs> We're gonna clean it up a little, but worth about 30 bucks also. There's the other side. Uh, we buy these when we see them. We had good luck with the Superman one and a few others. So um, if they're this company, the Chemco, Genco company, I just know the symbol, but yeah, this company is sells for a pretty decent money. And I should know better than to bid on cards, but this is still sealed. It's worth about 35, 40 bucks. This one's still sealed also, $35, $40. And this one I thought was sealed, but it's not. Um, I don't know, probably 20 bucks right there. This is the money today. This is a vintage Porter Sound Yamaha VSS 30. Um, this is worth about $200. So um, yeah, that's where the money came from today. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this coming Thursday, Pittsburgh Picker Live with SM Postcards. i um, going to be talking some toys, postcards, and you know whatever else comes up during that period of time. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.